Hi there, this is DJ from Garage from Dented Academy. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to set up multiple cameras in Blender with different settings for each camera. So without further ado, let's simply jump into Blender. So here we are in Blender 2.83, long-term support release. And I have an interior RV scene here that I created. I wanted to have multiple shots of this scene using different settings for each camera. So let's quickly add the first camera, let's shift A, adding a camera object, let's quickly adjust its position. So to move around with your camera you can use the lock camera to view, it's a pretty convenient way of moving around in your scene. It's a bit similar as you would be walking in the space and setting up your shot with your real camera. And once you're happy with the with this shot, you can just uncheck the box and the camera will stay in position. So when you duplicate the camera and try to make another shot, let's say I want a close-up shot for the flowers and I want this to be a shot with a square shaped aspect ratio, so 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels, I want a shot for Instagram, for example. And you can clearly see that when I change the camera settings with the duplicated camera here, the render settings are uh, universal for the whole scene, so the first camera will also change. And what if I don't want that to happen? Like, if I want to keep each camera with its own render settings? There's a quick solution for that, I'll show you in a minute. For that, we will just create a linked copy of the scene that we're working on. This way, without overloading the memory, because the scene created will just have the linked objects of the first scene, so it's memory efficient and pretty convenient to work with. So I'll quickly adjust my UI here, I'll create another window for a second outliner window, but this time I won't be showing the scene collections, but I'll use the option to display the scenes I have. You can change it here, and right now we can see that we have just one scene, but I'll rename it to main shot, and it will act as my main overall shot of the interior, and now the most important part, up here I can create a copy of the scene. Clicking that button and you have a few options here. You can create a new clean scene or you can create a full copy of the scene or a linked copy. We want this to be a linked copy because we don't really want to change anything in the scene. We just want to make another shot of it. Once again I'll set up this camera with my close-up scene selected. So let's set it up to 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. Let's make it one to one. Now you can see the other camera also changed, but we can but we can just switch to the first scene and the settings of the first camera were saved and this camera is an active camera of this first scene. So each scene will have an active camera so that once we switch from scene to scene, we have an active camera selected with the correct settings. And to make it clear, I'll just enable the passport to option here to clearly see the difference be between the shots and there you go. You have two shots and you can easily switch by just one click between those shots and they save the settings. And you can have as many shots you need. Just create another linked copy. So that's it for this tutorial. It was a quick one, but I hope you'll find it useful in your project and you'll be able to set up multiple different shots and also have some fun with settings of the aspect ratio, maybe make some artistic experiments based on that and you won't have to switch between Blender files to do that. So if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more tutorials coming soon, and keep on rendering, and see you in the next tutorials of GarageFarm.net Academy.